Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2022 Online. My name is Atitri, and it is my great and good pleasure to introduce you to a couple of folks who do not monkey around, but they do go fast. It's time for Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania with Petrus Inc. and Helix. Let's go! Is that my cue? Am I supposed to start talking? I think so. <laughs> Sorry. You're all good. All right. <laughs> all right. On online events are, are always top on the transitions. I'm Helix. What's up, AGDQ? This is Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. I am joined by... Actually, let me back up. I'm second place in the category we'll be running, and I am joined by the world record holder. Oh. Hello. Hello, yes. I, I'm, I'm Petrie. You can call me Peter as well. I, I'm a Monkey Ball speedrunner as well. I've been playing uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, the original for the GameCube, for a very long time. This came, came out just a couple months ago, early October. Uh, we've had very little time to, you know, mass together some amazing uh, speedrun stuff. I think we've done a pretty good job. You'll be really excited to see how far we've taken this game in a short amount of time. Super excited to put on a great show for everyone here. I am pretty sure this might be the newest game at this GDQ. I think it technically officially came out <laughs> after submissions closed. <laughs> and you might be thinking, then how did you submit? Um, the kind folks at SEGA were nice enough to give us both early copies. Um, so thank you so much, <laughs> SEGA, because this would not have happened without that. Absolutely. Also, it's a really, really lucky, lucky timing being able to show off this game here. If you like Super Monkey Ball, I think you'll really like giving this game a shot. If you haven't heard of it yet, it's an amazing experience. We're going to have a lot of fun today. There's also a fun storyline here. Peter and I are the last two uh, Super Monkey Ball GDQ runners. I ran Super Monkey Ball 1 at AGDQ 2020, and Peter ran Super Monkey Ball 2 at the very next event, SGDQ 2020. And now we're meeting, mm -hmm. facing off head-to-head -head in the remake of Monkey Ball 1 and 2. That's right, it's all the games, so you know, this is our skills put together. Who will win? We'll have to see who's the best. Yeah. Who gets to live or die by the end of this race. I agree, something I say we about should, some, uh, start... some rivalry between mm -hmm. y'all. Something about uh, somebody getting pushed <laughs> off a cliff. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. I mean, it, 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 I, I won't be able to contain my rage if I don't win, so <laughs> it's, it's kind of important that uh, I make make it happen today, but he likes won't back down just because of raw intimidation. Speaking <laughs> of who won, who won that character, Bidwar? So I've got mm -hmm. two here, and I know y'all are planning on splitting between you. So somebody yes. take Kiryu Kazuma, the dragon of Dojima, and someone gets mm -hmm. to play as a Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> wow. Thank Incredible you to everyone selection for your of characters. <laughs> as you can see, I gotta there are say, many in this game. Well, well done, well done, uh, donators. That's pretty incredible, actually. There are a lot of characters. We couldn't squeeze them all in today, unfortunately. But if you look really closely, this really is the Super Smash Brothers of Sega games. You got everyone. Lots of Sega favorites, like Swayzo from Monster Rancher. Incredible stuff they put together with this game. Uh, who do you want to play, Helix? You can have the first choice. Oh boy, Whatever that's really a tough want. one. I was gonna give you the first choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, I love, I love, I love Yakuza. I, okay. I could, I could go for my guy. He's pretty cool. All right. Are you alright with that? I will take the Sega Dreamcast, console is? a console I've always wanted to own, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You can live vicariously through this game. <laughs> So we will be running Story Mode All Worlds. There are 10 worlds in Story Mode, all 10 of these that you see here. And there are 10 levels in each, so there are 100 levels in total. We will be playing them all in order, of course, trying to complete all of them as quickly as possible. <laughs> as a friendly reminder, chat, ah. you have until the end of these 10 worlds to get in 9,000 more dollars for the Dark Banana Mode. Get oh, to that's it. doable. That's super doable. Ha absolutely. That's plenty of time. You got to run ahead yeah. of us, and that is a category you're not going to want to miss. Yeah, you got like... The, the, the game is called Banana Mania. Why, if the Dark Bananas are taking vengeance, we're in trouble. That's a hard category. You got like 35 or 40 it. minutes to get that done, so get on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So are we, are, we, are we ready to go? Is it time to time and three, two, one and all that jazz? It sure is. <laughs> all right. I'm on the control scheme, which is like one of the closest screens to story mode. I don't know where you're I at don't right now. I think I've played story mode already, so I don't think that's going to come up for me. Um, okay. <laughs> maybe cool. because I backed out to the top. Whatever. It doesn't matter if it happens. <laughs> it, won't, it, won't, it won't cause a significant difference in yeah. the race. Don't worry, um, everyone. A tea tree, do you want to count us down? I'd be happy to. If you're ready, in five, four, three, two, one, go! Okay. Nice. Oh. No control screen. Um, screen, rather. <laughs> Good luck, Peter. Hey, excellent. You guessed perfectly. I, you're, I'll be the one screaming today. Thank you. <laughs> So, if you're familiar with the original Monkey Balls, then you will maybe remember that there is a core movement tech in that game called Boosting, where we use diagonal inputs to accelerate more quickly, because they're stronger in the originals. 
The opposite is true in this game, where cardinal inputs are stronger than diagonals, so we will actually want to be holding directly forward whenever possible. That's right. Left, right, down, and forward are your best inputs. And let me tell you, forward is the way we want to go to accelerate. That'll be most of how we deal with building speed in the starting platform. Of course, right when you land on the level, that's when things start getting mm -hmm. crazy. And we're like in the original games, the game is quite simple. All you want to do is get to the goal on every single stage. We do so by taking the straightest possible line that allows us to not be grounded. Being airborne is faster. Friction slows you down. If, we're, if we can fly, we want to try, basically, yeah. in this game. We are already on a strat difference. I'm going to take switches pretty safe. I think Peter might be going down the middle. Um, there's a chance uh, you get a low bounce. I was not given the opportunity, but I did manage to live. That's I backed good. out of the super fast thing I was trying to That's do. Good. And probably got a slower time, but well, staying so alive. You saw exactly why I didn't do it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I do switches, just chance, like in the but... original games, are unpredictable things. You can use them to bounce into the air and do significant skips, but they often don't provide the same result every single time, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, sometimes they don't even mm -hmm. press. Like... <laughs> exactly, yeah, no, no, you do. <laughs> don't trust switches. They're not even switches, they're buttons. Yes. You get their name switches in this game. That, that's, the, that's the start of my trust issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I'm being real, this game and naming, it's nuts. <laughs> We are coming Aside up. from the monkeys, they've got the monkeys right. Like, That's for example, true. this monkey I'm playing right now, Kyu Chasm of yeah, the Yeah, yeah the monkey I'm playing right now, Psycho Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. um, we are Super coming up ball, everyone. on the most difficult strat in World 1, which is going to be Windy Slide. It is a falling strat. Do you want to explain a little bit about falling strats in this game, Peter? Oh yeah, sure, 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 sure. So, in the original, this is already a pretty difficult skill, but in this game, um, they changed the way the camera faces as you're falling. So it's actually significantly harder to see where you're going when you're airborne. And I'm sure we both proved that, or did we both not prove it? I, got, I died. I barely <laughs> died. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like this angle. Anyway, yeah, it's really hard to see what's below you, so falling strats are kind of <laughs> like a... Uh, second try, second try. <laughs> yeah, I, I bonked the goalpost and had to take a 47, whatever. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Keep it close. Keep Even it real. so far, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, basically, in the original games, the camera would point straight down, so you could use that to see where the goal was and, you know, head to where you need to go. In this game, it's more of a, a feeling, don't think, feel kind of situation. You gotta mm -hmm. kind of know where you want to be, and you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta believe in it. We didn't believe hard enough, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose not, huh? Mm-hmm. With that, we'll both be entering the final stage of World 1, Curve Bridge, which mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, one of my all-time favorites. Um, if you watched an SMB2 run recently, you might remember Curve Bridge Frames, a uh, pause strat of infamy. Nice. Uh, in this game, pause strats are heavily nerfed. You cannot pause nearly as many times because the menu does not buffer as quickly. But we did manage to find a lot of them, and a lot of them that work and save a lot of time, so look forward to that in the future. Yep. Um, you also might have seen Works on my a little screen, bit different in this game. at the beginning of this level, I held the camera down, because you can manually control the camera in this game, and I held it mm. directly down, which actually locks it in place. You might have noticed it did not turn when I did. Um, I only did that for like a little bit of the level, because I'm used to playing it normally. So just just wanted to show that off. It's not it's not used too often in this run. It's used a lot more in like the SMB1 levels, but you might still see it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the manual camera addition to this game is probably the greatest addition I didn't know I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I was I thought, like, 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 Super Monkey Ball's camera system is pretty perfect when it comes to moving in this game. It's very intuitive once you get a feel for it. But now that I have used a manual camera, you know, being able to look around and see stuff, I kind of want it in the originals, but... <laughs> Banana Mini exclusive. I definitely try to, like, use it in the originals and, like, rolled out. <laughs> <laughs> rolled out being awesome. another indie marble game. Another indie game. <laughs> well, yeah, one, one of the uh, one of the indie, this is indie, not an indie Marvel game, movies. <laughs> no, 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 this is Sega. Shout out to Sega. Thank you, Sega. Small, small indie studio. We appreciate this game. All right. All right. I actually did use that uh, manual camera tech to get on the wall more uh, consistently on coaster there. Oh, neat. It's a nice I piece of... Don't do that. I found that to be like weird for me. I don't know. It's a bit strange, but it's actually consistently faster. Like, I never don't get oh. a high 47. It's pretty cool. Noted. Okay, you just said, like, a second on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, lots of people throughout history, like, as a Monkey Ball speedrunner of the original games, have talked about how they can't deal with the camera in the game, just, like, casually. So if, if, you, if you were hoping that you'd have a little bit more control, this game did try to offer it. And I think they, they pulled it off pretty well. The, the game is definitely designed for the new camera. Beautiful so, bumpy If those really like the original camera, you're gonna have to get used to this one. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, it's quite different. <laughs> Bumpy check can be really mean with collision, but it was just so nice to me. <laughs> was it nice to you too? Yeah, wow, it's a good I'm day really to be a Bumpy check that. fan. You love to see it. Collision in this game is generally more consistent. We do go for some strats that would be horribly risky in the originals. 
Um, it's, it's, it's still it's not one hundred percent, but it's way better. There's much less thing. There's much less examples of what we would call zorping in the original games, where you just totally like ghost roll over something that should have bounced you to a pretty significant degree. Uh, in this game, we can often count on that kind of thing. You'll notice cases of it. We won't pause where okay. the original players would definitely have to pause. New difficult strat here. Inch yeah, worms. new difficult strat here for both of us. I assume you're on inchworms. Mm -hmm. I am. Nailed it. I got it. Yes. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> the double. We 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 synced up too. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> pretty close. Sure did. At least over wow. here. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Right, I'm going to be doing a pause <laughs> That strat. is so new and Ooh. so hard. We only picked that up like last speaking week. Speaking of new strats. Mm -hmm. Pause strat for my strats, There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, frick. Elix, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I got it. I had to repause it, but I still got it. It was a scary repause. Mm -hmm. I got a, a frame that I didn't know was going to work. <laughs> There's your opportunity to explain uh, pausing and how that ends up working in Mania. You got to do something pretty cool that you wouldn't be able to do pauses very easily. Yeah. Um, this game is. Unless you want me to. Oh, no. That. Alternative. You might have to take uh, this, yeah. <laughs> I had a bit of an alternative moment myself, and it barely let me keep going. Oh, wow. Those things love to bounce you around. It's a little bit goofy. <laughs> yeah, um, this game is pretty Sorry that to you. consistent. So we can use the frame the frame accurate timer at the top of the screen to basically tell which frame we're on. And that helps us with some timing strats. And we can also use the notches in the controller to hold um, perfect inputs. Yeah, we are actually using GameCube controllers, the both of us. Mm -hmm. We are uh, totally compatible with this game, and we decide, you know, keep it keep it, keep it, it old school. Yes. You know, we're, we're both used to GameCube controllers, so there really wasn't a better option. Yeah. Uh, the stage I'm on currently, Reversible Gear, actually has a really no, cool new cycle in this why? game. Yo. Organic formed. <laughs> <laughs> Organic formed. Uh, it looked like it should have gone okay, fake. It wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> But yeah, Reversible Gear is a cycle that uh, was not reachable in the original games. For some reason, they kind of arbitrarily changed a couple cycles, or they just didn't check uh, when recreating the levels from the original games. And that one actually opens up earlier, much faster than what you can do pauseless in the original game. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just going to sneak Speaking into Speaking of fast tracks, I don't think we ever mentioned yes. <laughs> that like, the physics in this game actually, like in every single level, does accelerate you faster. So in most cases, we are saving time on the in-game timer over the original game just because the ball accelerates faster. Yeah, Simple is actually a perfect e example of that. Even with the original game's boosting, the time we get on Simple is, like, not possible <laughs> in the original game. I did not games. get the super cool new dribble strat, by the way. Oh. Good thing I didn't hype it up. You can hype it up now. You'll, you'll get it first. Right? Yeah, <laughs> what we do here is <laughs> bounce. We use the dribble to bounce ourselves over, like, half the level. It's really cool. Here's hoping I can it get is, it. It is, it is. It's more difficult on first try. try. Um, it is reasons. much more difficult the first yeah, try. Due to reasons we'll get into. Oh, oh, I didn't go anywhere. I, did, uh, I just went like straight dang. up. What the heck? What was I supposed to do about that? <laughs> well, That's there you go. One. Much harder on uh, first try. We proved it by both failing. Not a coincidence. Oh, no. <laughs> Where am I? I'm gone. <laughs> Dribbles. Gone, gone. I practiced this. Come on. <laughs> Wait, you're gone, gone. Isn't that guy like the better monkey than another monkey in a classic debate? Better than I am. Yeah. I, I, oh, sorry for my rage earlier, by the way. That was a different person who was talking, you know, during that interview. I, I, I didn't mean those things I said about you. All right, I cannot hit dribbles. I'm going to go for like one more time. And then if not, I'm just going to probably do cycles. This is annoying. All right, all right. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, that time I just got antsy. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, I'm behind in this race now. I got to catch up. We'll see. <laughs> we see a comeback. I'll try my best to die a lot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, not on purpose, but like, I'll do it like by accident. On purpose. It won't be. Ready? I'll never die again. I can't keep my story straight. What do you think? <laughs> I think the truth is somewhere in what you just said, but I don't know exactly where. <laughs> All right. So there, there was pretty good movement on dribbles. Did you got to see that too? Yes, good cycling is actually a skill that Helix trained a lot more than I did. I was kind of waiting for the big skip to be discovered. Because <laughs> I don't like playing dribbles. Oh, dang it. Oh. That was not even close. By the way... <laughs> I got cascaded. Oh, you all can easily tell who is ahead. Just by looking at the uh, level number in the top left corner. Second try. Mad Rings is it's true. Yes, in the I original know. games, we sometimes play levels out of order in order to get better loads. But in this game, you get the same. Well, in the speedrun, we actually use load lists, so loads don't even matter. Yeah. But in this game, you get the same load no matter what level you play in what order. So we just end up uh, kind of playing the way playing the game the way it was supposed to be played. The first ever intended speedrun. <laughs> Sure. Can't say we're not smelling the roses. You know, I forgot to start my load list timer, but 
after the Dribbles fiasco, it doesn't matter because I'm just wasn't going to PB net after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. At this point, both of our PBs in this category is probably the one we've like put the most like real time into. Yeah. They're both very, very good. It's tough to PB. I have some IWs that are pretty good, but eh, even then, mm -hmm. you're probably right. Um, IWs meaning individual world. There is a ranking challenge mode in this game, which is basically for speedrunning. It's really cool. Uh, it uploads your times to the in-game leaderboards, and mm -hmm. every single story mode world is in it. I nailed Cascade, let's go. All right, first try. The in-game leaderboards are actually a big reason why the speedrun community is so active in this game, mm -hmm. actually. It's a really cool support for uh, speedrunners. You can uh, compare your times instantly. Oh, I just died on BF. Oh. You can compare your times instantly with other people around the world, most of the time, <laughs> if you submit. Oh, that's uh, scary. And it's uh, a cool way we use uh, the in-game timer to compare on SRC as well. Helpful for everyone. Mm -hmm. right, that was a much better beehive. I also want to brag a little bit and note that at one point I had a complete sweep mm. of all 10 story mode worlds. I still have, I think, eight of them. I had nine of them yesterday, but then a Japanese runner, Taco, sh shout outs to Taco, actually, uh, mm -hmm. third place runner for this category and has a good shot at world record. Uh, Taco beat me, beat my world four times. Oh, shout outs to another world two. Time in my life. World two. So that was a lot of voices. Yeah, uh, sorry, I, I won't talk this time, all right? <laughs> Silence now. <laughs> No, by all means, it's, it's you guys. I just wanted to give a shout out to an active community. You love to see it. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's cool. Well, actually. that was. We've been like sharing strats back and forth, <laughs> despite the language barrier. We're just watching each other's gameplay. Yeah, and I watched. <laughs> you know, I watched you two. Uh, like <gasps> Helix, they they were giving um, on, on that that pause strat level. They were showing Petrus how to do it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Just like it's uh... only friendship. What? Beehive is so. Yeah, mean. we've it. Know each other for a bit. Beehive is mean. I died to Beehive too. What the heck? It's not just me. This is great. This launchers could be dicey. If I live this, I'm a winner. How did that not go in? Go okay. I, no, no, another thing no, in this not game. a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> another thing in this What's game. What's going on there? Goalposts. I would boycott. I am just gonna take the slow ending at this point. Um, goalposts it's a sloppy can second be. Well for. Yeah, goalposts can be really mean in this game. The party ball is way nicer. In the original games, the party ball will destroy you if you touch it, but it actually kind of catches you in this game. But the trade-off is that goalposts are just so rude. Yes, it's 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 a it's a monkey's paw, you know. All those people, this is your fault. You in the chat. I'm looking <laughs> at you. All those people who talk about how the party ball is so annoying and evil. Well, the party ball is great in this game, but then they made the goalposts messed up. I got owned on randomizer. Whoops. Yeah, you, okay, you can put <laughs> hey, it between hey. the uprights and still miss. It's kind well, of unbelievable. I got the I got the like one in one hundred. Nice. I got the like one in one hundred triangle whole step. I got that one too. Really? I didn't even get a chance to talk about it because you were talking about something else. But I actually did get the rare triangle whole step. It's usually a hold up. Pause strat. Pause strat. Hold on. We'll go back to triangles in a sec. I'm mad with you. Don't worry. <laughs> triangles, like literally ninety nine percent of the time, the way this game is determinism works, or like kind of like almost determinism works, is like you can actually count on like pause type like perfection, ninety nine percent of the time. But every now and then, the game just kind of like slightly displaces you when you start, so you can randomly die stages where you usually just hold up and win. Yeah, I think. But you know what? That's what we get for just holding up. Honestly, maybe we deserve it. I think what happens <laughs> is you actually maybe you're slightly placed forward, or maybe you're going slightly faster because on hold up stages, mm -hmm. there's a chance you can finish them a frame faster. It's yeah, you really save like you, you get to save a tiny, tiny amount of time every now and then. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, but that's only like pure hold ups, like simple. If there's like collision involved, then it just completely messes with it. Mm -hmm. Banana Mania is almost, almost determinism. Yeah. It's a lot better than people thought initially, but... Yeah, which I am very glad for. All right, pause <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, if, if we couldn't do what we do later in the run, we have some really cool pause strats that are still coming up that save certain levels. You're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it a lot, I think, everyone. Nice. Right, a bit of an adventure on Seesaw Bridges, but... Oh! No, we're not done having an adventure. What stage are you on, by the way? Uh, I am loading into Seesaw Bridges right now. Wow, I've been on Seesaw Bridges for a bit. Oh. Embarrassed to say. The race has become close again. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> 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 I really did manage to die on the uh, the stage that ends up being the costliest death uh, twice, unfortunately. You, you, it's oh big no! Yeah, Sea Sub Bridge is like the longest stage in the entire run. No, that's gimmick that's actually, second longest. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. In SME two, it ends up being the longest yeah. stage. All right. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> it sure was. Oh my god. A little gosh. bit of wake up call. <laughs> you know what? Kazuma deserves better. The Sega Dreamcast Poor deserves better. <laughs> <laughs> Second, yeah, that, I mean, that, it's, it, it's kind of durable, probably. It's one of those old consoles, you know? They don't make them like they used to. That's true. But it'll probably break if we keep it up, so let's be careful. Doing a hard You'll strat. notice they modified Arthropod. Um, oh. A very infamous stage. Almost got my strat. They took away its 
super cool holes. Yeah. Uh, Helix does something very cool there. I, I, I take advantage of the fact that the stage is free if it's free. Yeah, I mean, I, I do something really risky and try to save a couple seconds by getting an early cycle. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to try a pause strat that assists you on Wormhole, but it's not guaranteed. Same. I got it. Wow, oh, that's really important. Let's if I go! don't get this, I'm losing like 12 seconds. Big ol' skip. Okay, 95. Big ol' skip. Go for it, please. Get it. Ready? Go. <gasps> oh, almost. Not quite. Uh, All right, we'll just play it I then. felt that gasp. Yeah, it was okay. So Is 95 here, a real frame? I don't even use that one. It can be. I mean, they're all, I hate they all require adjustments, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those pause strats where, like, it's not guaranteed, but anything that helps this strat is really nice. Because it's a huge mm. time save. It's not even inconsistent for the same reasons it was in the original. You can't, like, you don't zorp when you're crossing yeah. over the bump or anything. But this game actually has a very meticulous way of deciding whether you get the maximum height when you get a bounce. And you need the maximum height to get that skip. So, yeah. The, the, the frame strat sets up the angle more so than the actual collision. And with that, there's not too much that's going on until the end of World 5, really. There is mm -hmm. a tower, level 5 8, which. It's easier in this game because the party ball is nicer, but if one of us misses it, that's a lot of time loss. But I think with that, we have some time for donations. Wonderful. Mm. Just what I was waiting for. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll through these absolutely as fast as I can, and either or both of you are welcome to yell at me to stop when it's time to go back to uh, uh, commentating. First, I want, to run, for a bunch. I want to run through uh, the Dark Banana Mode incentive. We are at $15,521 out of $20,000. That is more than 75% of the way there. You are zooming right along with them, uh, chat. Keep it up. Abutu sent Thank in you. $25 and said, Helix, please show us the monkey art behind you. I think you've already got that taken care of, but thank you so much for your generosity, Abutu. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt you real quick here and say that monkey art behind me is, I've already posted it on my Twitter, Helix13 underscore. You can go check it out there. It was drawn by my boyfriend. Amazing. Right, continue. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Bacon Monk sends in $250 and says, preventing cancer via the Caravella Maneuver. Thank you, Bacon Monk. Doug Trio 100 with $50. Helix and Petrus's Monkey Ball runs have been an unexpected and welcome source of happiness for me throughout the pandemic. Let's get a little more of that joy by unlocking the Dark Banana Run. Aww. Kevin Dubis <laughs> with $15. Petrus Inc. got me hooked on Monkey Ball speed runs when I saw him at a GDQ a year or two ago. I've never heard of Dark Mode before. Let's see him and Helix crush some crazy hard levels. I think I got a little bit uh, crazy taxi on that one. Lizard sends in $10 <laughs> really cool, and actually. says, Let's go Helix and Petri. Diverud SMB sends in $10 and said, Peter Sink versus the Lord Helix himself. How am I supposed to choose a side in this war of friends? Thank you, both of you, for being wonderful inspirations to get me into Super Monkey Ball Hack speedrunning, and good luck to both of you. Oh, and remember, whoever wins, I was only rooting for you the whole time. <laughs> $25 from Socks and Tungsten, who says, Can we get some Monkey Ball hype? Good luck, Helix and Petrus. Baby is best monkey. Facts. Non-binary code what? donates $101 and says, Haiku, largest single gift that I am able to give. This is a haiku. Let's get those gothy bananas. All Thank right, you, non-binary. And one more. Conception sends in $50 and says, I couldn't be more thrilled to watch both Helix and Petrus crush it on the GDQ stage. They're both incredible runners and people. Best of luck on the race, but we all know the viewers are the true winners here. What just happened to me? That was the weirdest fluctuation of my career. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Those donations were incredible, thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you all you so much. Power fluctuation, I think. Yeah, I... <laughs> Maybe. Yep. Did I send you some cosmic rays? Is that what happened? I don't even know. I can't even try to like, begin to explain. That was the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you live, by the way? Yes. Yes. I got a 47, but I lived. <laughs> hardest stage in the run, by the way. Coming up now, I would say. I'm playing opera. This stage is hard. I'm just saying that so that when I get first try, I look cool, by the way. It's not actually hard. Watch yeah. this. I'm loading into it right now. Right, we'll be soon. For, uh, well, that was close, chat. Come on, you saw. I, the party ball. Oh, it's a real doozy in this game, isn't it? <laughs> okay, second try. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to go in. I goal posted. I thought it. so too myself. Let me tell you, I was there right with you. I goal posted. Been there, done that. Fish strat, fish strat, aim for the fish. The real ones, no. Oh, I okay, I completely undershot that time. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean. The problem with uh, uh, Opera, so I can explain right now, uh, yeah. to assist Helix while they're working on it. Yeah. Um, 
this game's falling, like we said, is bad, and we usually rely on setups to make it not bad, but Opera is different every time because of stairs and ball game. The stairs, they kind of knock you different ways every time, so there's no way to be sure you have the setup right, so you just have to kind of improv. And improv is hard. I nailed it on the I weirdest I tried improv attempt. comedy, not good at it. I hit it on the weirdest attempt. I got sent, like, slightly left by one of the stairs. <laughs> you earned it on also, the you, hardest Also, you can hold up on Brandished, by the way. Really funny. Ah! Huh? Except for the triangle situation, you know. Yeah, that like that can't happen. It has happened to me, but it's just such a cool strat, and it's nice not to worry about it after playing. I died to tears after playing Opera. I feel, I feel like whenever I talk about the party ball being really nice, I get party balled several times in the run. I have actually been party balled several times. Oh But no. really, that means I especially missed because it is actually very nice. We didn't make it up. It, it, it's better in this game, I swear. Yeah. Believe us. Unironically. <laughs> I promise. We promise. If you play this game, just you'll, watch that goal post. See. All right, I'm, I'm going to willfully bait the goalpost. Hold on. Two, three, four, five. Six, oh, seven. I'm okay. going to willfully bait the goalpost gods, by the way, by going for a strat on folders that I shouldn't be going for. If I, you know, wow, that was a weird detours. Anyway, yes. okay. uh, detours, plural. Why'd they add an S to that? They had an S to that in this game. It used to be called detour. So, fun fact it's just yeah. detour in challenge mode. Ready? Oh, yeah. Not it's, even I, in every version I'm of the game. I'm not lying. I'm, you can check yourself. I'm not joking. They're out of control with the naming. We talked about this earlier. They're out of control. This is an atrocious <laughs> world six for me. I'm having, I'm having a, there I'm having go. a like a like a cool adventure quest kind of kind of world six. I really do feel the pressure of the pot below me on these stages. All right, here we go, folders. If I am pure of heart, I get to go straight in the goal here. If I'm not, I will get knocked out. I don't even have enough speed to try. Oh well. <laughs> well, well. Well, th that might be I'm really not pure of heart. So, Helix, you're going to have to uh, shake up the moral compass situation that we got going on here on folders because uh -huh. it's not looking good for me right now. Well, I'll be there in a little bit. Cool, good luck. <laughs> I'm you. into World 7. Yeah, I'm on Switch Inferno. So, not too far behind. Only a couple stages. Longer stages, but still not that far. They put a lot of buttons on that stage. I should call it Button Inferno. <laughs> yeah. Butt Inferno. No, you. <laughs> What? I wasn't caught. What? <laughs> Sorry, you got, you, got my, you got my default response. Oh, this can 51, I think. I'll try oh. it. Yeah. All right. Pure of heart. Pure of heart. You heard it here first. I really had to swerve over to the left, too. Like, that was close. All right, world seven. Let's That's do it. That's why they call you heartlicks13 underscore the pure. Whoa. I, 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 that was the first time being called that, but I think it's just stick. Maybe. I'm gonna try to get obstacle skip. Wish me luck. Good luck. You didn't wish me it fast enough. I didn't get it. <laughs> Rip. Oh, that just That's, means uh, you're sabotaging me time. so you can win. Yeah. I guess. It's no. I'm not I, getting any obstacle skip. I'm having an instant. I'm, I'm dying. I, I need. Sorry, I need it so I can catch up. <laughs> no. I need the luck. It's mine. You're in the lead. You know, you're being you're being selfish is what you're being. You're in the lead. <laughs> you're, you're, sw you're swiping it. You're the, you're the one who's winning. You're, yeah. you're the one who's playing as the character with actual animations. <laughs> what is going on? My second okay, dream guys are just kind of floating there. <laughs> I'm having I'm having an elevator action moment. Don't worry, Chad. I'll figure it out. Hey, I've played this game before. Hey, is YouTube there it is. I got World Seven skip. here? Uh, is it cool, cool for an update on Dark Banana Mode? Yeah, go for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Just a hair under seventeen thousand out of twenty thousand. We are approaching the last ten percent. This is so doable, chat. Bring us on home. All right, let's go. You all have about three and a half worlds left to get this done. Um, you might be in the lead, by the way. I died to Domino. I, I got, oh, I definitely am, because I got obstacle skip, too. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. You got that right when I finished yeah. having my moment. <laughs> so I need to be careful on Civ here. The ending of this stage is very difficult. You must be very precise, exactly in the middle of Watch the final out, rail. Don't be shaky. I'm going to go for the don't, fast don't ending. Shake like don't be shaking bacon. And fast ending. Beautiful. I am not getting the fast ending. But I will not die. I right. promise, chat. So I never lie. There's a pause cut. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. There's a pause cut here on Flock, which I will explain in a little bit. Oh, I, that's not even close to the window. I'm just going to retry. <laughs> that's not the way I thought I'd die, to be honest. What? I think 11 works on second, second try. Yes, OK. So you might be thinking, Helix, didn't you just hold up? And I mean, yeah, kinda, but <laughs> let me explain. So pausing in this game, pausing in this game forces a brief neutral input, regardless of the direction you're holding. 
And uh, that exact neutral input at a very specific time just makes the flock strat work. It gives us a beautiful clip that we can take to the goal. It's hilarious how that's actually useful. Shout out to Juggler, another Japanese player who found that. There we go. All right, I got past Civ. <clears throat> so it turns out, um, funny thing about Civ uh, is that uh, the thing that they want to Civ out, like the thing they want to filter out, was actually the character. So it's trying to remove you, so it's unfortunate that uh, it succeeded on this day. True. Okay. Got higher. Luckily, I did get the flock frame first try, so you know we're, we're on the up and up. Oh, same Three time. Window, by the way. I could have continued it and probably gotten like a 42 cycle, but I wanted to. I don't know. I wanted to do the strat, and so I could like explain it and everything. I will be doing a safer strat on eight bracelets. Um, Peter will be doing the faster version that I found like last week. Yeah, yeah. The helix was one to port it over. Yes. So, okay. uh, it's it, it, thank you for the time save. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, first try anyway. Yeah. It's it's hard. I'm scared. <laughs> it saves like three seconds, it but it's hard. really hard. So. I didn't want to do it. Cool strat, though. Uh, quick turn is a hold up, just like in the originals. I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose. I appreciate it. I don't I don't mind not having to play the stage. <laughs> yeah, it would just be another giant comb if we did play it. Yeah. You don't have to walk the right way, not get hit and all that. Play the game. Not my not thing I'm a fan of. I'm a speedrunner. Right. And we are now into uh, what I consider to be the most difficult world in the game, World 8. There's nothing that is super difficult here. I, I wouldn't say anything on the level of opera. But there's a lot of moderately difficult things, and they all add up to make this a very difficult world. Good news, I got your eight bracelet strat. Yes, let's go. Saving Peter. the time. Let's go. That's the time from the original game, by the way. It's a, a one to one mm -hmm. port, so very, very cool that we got that going. For a while, we went backwards, and some still do. I, so, there's some people who are in the lead of this race right now, so, you know, I'm not saying it. Like, I would look very silly if I was, like, you know, sneak dissing or anything, but what was I saying? Well, uh, I got a perfect quick turn. Did you get a perfect quick turn? Yeah. You get a perfect if you just hold up. <laughs> well done. What? Did you not know that? No, I did sign cooler. I went no. faster. Um, You know what we haven't talked about yet? The collectibles. Yes. The different characters have different collectibles. Um, all the monkeys and the conkles have bananas. Um, the Sonic characters, Sonic and Tails, have rings. Sure, you has like. Now, if bottles. you're familiar. Yeah. With the Yakuza series, you might be familiar with this bottle uh, that you might be able to find in a common vending machine in uh, in Japan. Uh, I did not pause the right time. It was probably fine. Okay. It was not fine. But you know what? We're on the level. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what improv is about. I, remember that comment about improv comedy I mentioned earlier? Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm actually uh, the best at improv. Look at me go. This is true. <laughs> so I had not paused to the giant you. window that was that pause strat, and I still made it work. I'm both very bad and very good. Thoughts? I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm glad you agree. Yeah, some of, some of the, the other choices for... Um, pickups for the other characters you could have donated for. Morgana has giant treasure chests, which I know both of these folks love. And uh, <laughs> They're very huge and hard to see through, yeah. <laughs> Big and opaque, my favorite. Oh, this is awkward. What am I doing? I lived. I'm going in the goal. All right, interesting vortex. <laughs> was that a first try? No, it was a second try. That's probably the most awkward uh, boss ride we have in the game. We're working on it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. It is so tough. <laughs> It's, it's a three-frame window, I don't even like all the frames, and it's hard no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Also, I nailed Entangled Path, which probably looked really cool, and I didn't touch on it. Um, that oh, stage... I nailed it too. Um, Let's go. It, it's a really cool stage. Helix discovered that strat port yeah, from uh, and like, the new cycles and in the original. Thank goodness, yeah. too, because otherwise, if you want to get blue goal, it takes like 30 seconds, so we saved a bunch of time with that. <laughs> and it's easier than it looks, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I, I gotta take a second to say, bless you both for running through all this technical explanation in such a technically complex and fast-paced route. I am just absolutely blown away by this. So, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, trampolines, I'm going for collision off of a little bumper on the side there. Can I get over? Oh no, where am I? I'm just gonna finish the left. <laughs> I hate this stage, Spring this stage always text. goes this to me. <laughs> Third try, Green Gold Vortex. You know, Let's if go. that was challenge mode, I would have warped past the stage and definitely I would have helped catch up with Helix. But this is story mode. Those warp goals, they there don't do anything. They just look cool. That's what I was trying to do on trampolines. Um, yeah, you can get some unpredictable collision from that. It's definitely, like, in my opinion, the least consistent strat in the run. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. It happens. <laughs> I used to count on it, but you infected me with uh, distrust, unfortunately. Rip. We had we had a thing. And you, you became, like, the, the love triangle, like, third rival that kind of ruined our thing. <laughs> 
But I'm gonna get first try anyway to you know rekindle old feelings. Here we go. I feel bad, a little man. distrust between friends. Yeah. Um. Nice side goal there. Workable. Okay. Well, there is a dead cycle here though, so I'm not That's... gonna go. Yep. Exactly on that balance on that trampoline, it does not give you enough height to go. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a banana mania moment. So I said we don't tell the haters though. <laughs> I said we would explain the first and second load, and we never did. So. Oh yeah, there yeah. it is. The first time you load into this, you load into a level, you'll have that little spinning animation. It'll display the level name and number, um, and then after you die or retry using the pause menu, uh, that will not appear, and so that is considered second load. Mm. For whatever reason, we don't know why, but gameplay is very slightly different on second load. It matters mostly in stages that launch you, like trampolines, or uh, for pause strats. Mm. So we have to sort of change our game plan very slightly depending on which load we're playing. It only matters for like a handful of stages. It is almost completely unnoticeable otherwise. It is completely yeah. unnoticeable otherwise, not even almost. I mean, technically you want a first try, you know, most things. So we usually focus on our first try practice, yeah. you know, for the first load. But, you know, things go down. Sometimes you die, it, it happens. We've all been there. And I will be coming up on Flat May soon, which is probably the hardest strat in World 9. Uh, world 9 overall is a pretty easy world though. Well, as you are yeah, well, running no, this no, out, it's not too bad. Actually, we can get into uh, donations if uh, mm -hmm. if you so desire donations. I would be happy yeah. to. The chat is absolutely running up the tally on the dark banana mode. They have less than Woo. one thousand dollars left to go. So go for it, chat. Back to donation time. One hundred dollars from Sydney Bean. This one is for my wife. She loves the monkey ball games, and having more monkey ball fun times in this marathon would be fantastic to see. Love you, Sam. $10 from Peas to Helix, E, singular dot, capital K. To Peter, <laughs> friend that begins with the letter P. You two are the epitome oh, of monkey us. ball speed running, and it's always a marvel to watch two of the best classic monkey ball runners go fast. Sorry, you had something, Peter? Oh, yeah, yeah me, me and Peas, you know, we both have P in our name, it's a thing. Yeah. I see. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> shout out to Peas, top with HD runner. Sorry. No, yeah. shout out to Peas, by all means. $250 from Lady in the Tim. Here is $250 in honor of our cat Alice, affectionately known as Fat, who recently tested clear of the cancer we were told would take her from us in three to six months. Here's hoping we can speed run the race to a cure, donating during Super Monkey Ball because the game matches her bubbly personality. Money goes to runner's choice, and that is that dark uh, banana incentive that we are just so close to. That's, that's really good to hear, that donation. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. I'm happy for Alice. Slush W with $150. Helix and Petrus are two of the people who inspired me to get the most to get into speedrunning, and getting to see them destroy such an amazing game in this HEDQ is so awesome. Good luck to both runners. Right, one more. Reaperverse Gaming sends in $17.40. Thanks for all you do. Love y'all. Add to announcer's choice. Still dark Ooh. banana. Greetings from past midnight Germany. <laughs> Thank you, Reaperverse. Thank you all so much again. So I'm coming up on air hockey now. They changed this level quite a bit. Uh, it moves more slowly, but they also rotated the goal 90 degrees, so it's moving more sideways than forwards and backwards, which makes it pretty difficult to get into. So I kind of have to lead my shot here. All right, went in. Good stuff. Hold on. Nice 45 corkscrew. I've had a great World 9 so far, actually. Awesome. Have, have you have you been slipping up? Because you seem very far ahead still. No, I, I, had, like a, I had a near flawless World 9. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I need an opportunity here. You got to uh, fall off or something. Well, I'm in, I'm in World 10. We'll see what happens. This is the I final like world, world of the run. Get those donations in for that dark banana incentive. I'm a big World Town guy. They have $480 left to go. Oh, that's super doable. Right. That's right. so doable. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna drop down there, hit the switch. As I mentioned earlier, Gimmick is the longest level in the entire run. You gotta do a little bit of walking. Mm -hmm. There is a skip here, like an IL skip. It's uh, very hard. And in the originals, it's a pause strat, but. Pauses aren't quite as strong in this game because repausing is very difficult. Very nice air hockey. Yeah, that was a great World 9, and all the hard stuff went right. Awesome. Happy with that. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming as fast as I can. I've only got one strat on you, and that's on 10-9, and that's not enough, so I need something from you. <laughs> well, you do go faster than I do on gimmick, usually. Oh, yeah. But that's only a few Swag seconds. Rail? Yeah, I mean, I got a 20. I usually get, like, a 21 or 22, I think. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. But, don't tempt me. <laughs> you just want me to fall off. Yes. <laughs> Give it scary when you play it that fast. I hit mountain. Let's go. That's one of the harder one, strats for me. Two, um, that strat used to be free, but they changed the cycle in this game, and now it's actually pretty cool, but also difficult. You gotta get there early, and it's tight, yeah. I'm gonna try to go straight in on Disorder. It'd be cool. I hit Good it. Luck. Let's go. 
Nice. All right. That's cool world. 10 IW type strat. Mm -hmm. Coming up on 3D Maze, I'm going to hold the camera down and then hold left to get on the wall, and then immediately it's time to go, and I can get a skip that's a lot like the pauseless skip in the original games. Just lines up a bit better in this game because of the cycle. Mm -hmm. And there's another skip here on the stage formerly known as Labyrinth. Um, crazy maze. It's pretty mm -hmm. crazy. This is pretty hard in the originals. This is also basically what the fastest pauseless strat does. A little bit easier in this game because of the faster momentum, although I did overshoot it, so there, there's a chance for you, Peter. Okay, okay. I'm trying to land Dying on the slope, a little bit to I overshot. Alright, second so try mountain. Coming, coming, coming. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. So any, any, any big, uh, any big uh, donation uh, goal notices? Any big news happening right now? Is, I see a lot of rolling in the chat. Yeah, I've got a twofer <laughs> for you on this one, actually. Not only did we absolutely smash Dark Banana Mode, but we passed a total of $350,000 for the event so far. Thank you so much to everyone. Yeah, thank you Incredible. all so much. That's amazing. Oh, no, Postmodern. So this is the stage I lovingly refer to as Stairs and Ball Game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like it. As you can see, it's going Secret on. Secret riddle of the me. mind. <laughs> Like, really? Not well? I mean, like, it's just stairs. All I gotta do is walk. Come on, Alex. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it going down over there? Look, the Sega Dreamcast the is, is not... Watch, the Sega Dreamcast is not made for climbing stairs, all right? You know what? That's actually fair. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a man with two legs right now, and I'm coming for you. Okay. This guy will walk up those stairs like it was his business. I lost, like, Tell me Yakuza fans. <laughs> there are stairs in Yakuza games, right? But, Write that down. Probably. At least a couple. What's going on yeah. over there? <laughs> all right. Three levels left for me. I'm pretty sure you hold up on Tokyo Tower at some point, so... Mm -hmm, yeah. Definitely stairs. Tons of stairs. You can wait a second and hold up on Revolution. You'll get that bounce every time. Um, you know what, Peter? For you, I will do one Epic Invisible attempt. Yes! You you do care. I do. I do care. 4.6. I'm gonna try to clip off this. Oh, I zorped? Wow, that was the most anticlimactic oh. Epic Invisible ever. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> um... Instant, instant. What? What, what? what? Didn't we promise no Zorps? What's going on? Is that, was that just the final bit of irony to end this awesome run? I'm sad. <laughs> we deserve it. <laughs> uh, maybe. Do not cry. Maybe you're right. So now I'm going to go for S clip. Um, this level spells invisible, and you can clip off the S to skip a lot of movements. Uh, oh, that was bad, but I lived. I get another shot. I, okay. Huge. This is weird. Okay, I got it. That, All right, nice, 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 nice. That's I've never done it quite like that before. That still saved like five <laughs> seconds, by the way. All right, I will be doing my due diligence and trying to show off Epic Invisible, the full invisible skip to all of you people watching right now. Here I go. Time's coming up for me. Whoa! I got said so hard right. This game's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> give it another shot. <laughs> We're trying to clip off the stage uh, off of Invisible as it's falling down. And time. Rejected. I'll be doing S clip. Time, GG Helix. Congratulations, Helix. Everyone, please give them a gigantic round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> well done. I will be doing S clip because I got totally rejected by my uh, epic invisible attempt. Probably deserved. And I get it. Good strat, good strat. Well, uh, maybe I spoke too soon, but I lived. Okay. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of speed going to the next bounce. Maybe I should have talked so fast. <laughs> You love to see it. I'll be entering the last stage, the titular last. Well, it's not titular, but it is called last stage. So there's a, there's a word for what I was looking for there. It wasn't the word I used. Uh, so here I go. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Title of it is last stage. I mean, um, I count. Maybe I did use that word correctly. <laughs> Thank you for the defense. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, for time. Sorry, I I didn't give the warning. <laughs> In the goal, that was me, Peter. Oh, GG, Peter. Congratulations to both. Second of you. place extraordinaire. Thank you for a wonderful race, Helix. That, that was, was really incredibly fun. tense. That you was were really right. Good. We were we were there back yeah. and forth all over the place that run. I, we synced up on, on Inchworms and that was awesome. <laughs> and we both, we both got it! it. Oh, couldn't have asked for a better better start, honestly. So the Dark Banana Incentive was in fact met, so I guess we get to go play that now. Um there are a bunch mm -hmm. of special modes in this game. There's lots of content in this game. Yeah, we can take a close look at uh, yeah. some of them real quick. We won't play all of them, but there are a lot of... The special modes are really where this game shines. The yeah. stuff that's totally exclusive to this game is really what Banana Mania is about, I think. Yeah. 
because, I mean, you played the original games. They're very good. They're very good here, too. But these modes are completely unique. Yeah. They had a shot at being really creative with uh, these uh, special gimmick parody modes. So I think you'll you'll think Dark Banana is very cool. They're extra challenges. Um, are we running a separate timer for Dark Banana mode? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I should have asked earlier. I, I, doesn't, I don't <laughs> well, think it matters that much. It sounds like we can if you'd like. Why not? Yeah, we, 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 Why got not? A moment. we can we can cool off and Go for it. just get that set up for the run. Still... It lasts a fair bit. It's ten stages, but it's a very hard category. Yeah. So who knows what the length will be? <laughs> yeah, race. We will be racing. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it as another race. Mm -hmm. uh, while while that's getting set up, I will really quickly go over all the special modes. These are really near and dear to my heart. I like them a lot. They're very fun to speed run and play casually. Peter I think. has world record in all five. Um, that's right. I, I I made my personal goal to uh, make all of them really optimized and cool because it's just fun. It was easy because it was fun. Anyway, uh, so the five special mode categories. Um, the very first one, reverse mode, really neat premise. Uh, basically, they start you where you would usually end a stage. So you have to do the stage in reverse order, which actually opens up a lot of really cool, unique speedrun strats that you can't do when the stage is in normal order. Really, really fun run. Um, dark banana mode, of course. I'll, I'll save that for the last. Golden banana mode is the opposite of dark banana mode. You have to collect all the bananas on the stage. There's a lot of them. It's like a fun score optimization. Uh, original stage mode, they actually nerfed a bunch of stages that people like found really difficult in the originals. But then they kept all the unnerfed versions of the stages in original stage mode. So this is a pack of all the stages that were too hard for Banana Mania. It's basically the grandmaster of Banana Mania. Yes. And of course there's DX mode, which is our all levels from Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Oops. Exclusive to that game. So. Alright. Pretty cool. Dark Banana time. So you love to see there it. There are dark bananas on all of these stages. If we touch them, we have to restart the level. That's where the challenge here comes from. This can this features perhaps the most difficult stage in the game, dark banana twin base. And so keep an eye out for that one. But some of the rest mm -hmm. are difficult the too. The bananas are poisonous. Yes. Bad for no matter who you are. Be you be right. you yakuza member. Be you monkey. Be you game console. Don't touch them. Are right, you ready, Peter? I am ready whenever. Is it going to show the control scheme menu? I forget. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> okay, we'll just, we'll just start. We'll start from cross floors and mash yeah. no matter what. <laughs> I'm on it. All right. Ready to go Everyone in ready? five, four, three, two, one, go! All right. I love your, your this... go. It has, it has so much force <laughs> behind it, but it still sounds good. You could have been the narrator. Ready? That's awesome. <laughs> Give me a voice back. Call me. All right, we start out with cross floors, which, which we can play uh, about the same as normal, honestly. It's it's a little bit of tension added to the stage, but otherwise they start us off kind of nice. You just want to, don't touch them; they're glowy, they're purple. Aren't they kind of tantalizing? Don't you want to touch them? Don't. A little bit. Aw. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Well, don't worry, we will at least once, I'm sure, during this run. Maybe I don't know. It'd be a pretty cool run if it you know, don't touch any. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have, to my knowledge, the only deathless dark banana run, but Peter has the world record with faster strats. Yeah, it brought, a, brought some crazy strats and still died, but, you know, go fast and all that. That's the name of the game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, this bonus stage earthquake is really cool because, you know, bonus stages are chock full of bananas, but having to avoid them is a really cool plot twist. Mm -hmm. so nice little skip you can do to get through that quickly, though. Here's the first difficult stage, destruction. Uh, I think we're both going to go luck. for a skip here. Yep. Oh, that was not even close. I didn't drift right far enough. <laughs> I, well, boy, I took the words right out of my mouth. Let's try that again, huh? Yeah. Watch the dark bananas, by the oh, way. Oh, uh, that poison. time I drifted right. I got it early. second try. Nice. I'm going. I'm going. I think you're better I'm at this one than I am. Oh, come on. Give me, give me a higher clip than that. I need to get ahead early because Helix is really good at the hardest stage in the game. Dark banana twin basin. So this is a good lead. I can't, like, I'm not setting it up correctly. This is so sad. I practiced this and I got a first try. <laughs> I enjoy that the reward for finishing a level is that you're allowed to have the forbidden bananas. Yeah, you can actually touch them real quick. It's it's crazy. They're okay if, as long as you're invincible, I guess. I accidentally touched one just there. I was not expecting to. Surprised me. Oops. I'm doing a really hard full skip on this stage. Please. I still do kind of skip from the uh, story mode on Narrow Peaks here. But uh, it's really hard to do while avoiding the bananas. All right, I'm out of attraction. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm done trying to skip now, actually. It's not going very well for me. It's kind of a, a reset point in the run okay. normally, so I'll be doing a slightly slower strat. Probably the one I'm doing. And Helix is approaching, yeah. Wow. This stage is hard no matter what you do, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> First try, yeah, think about that's it. huge. 
That is huge, actually. Good luck. Thank Carry you. it forward. Carry the torch. Um, you know what? Just for you, Peter, I will attempt. I, really need to I will attempt the centrif dark banana skip once. You know the full centrif skip? Do it. Oh, I almost got it. Oh <laughs> <laughs> wow! All right. Let's awesome. That noise, I thought you had, honestly. I'm gonna zoom out the minimap so I can better see where the goal is gonna be. There we go. All right, don't mess up this opportunity, Peter. <laughs> you seem to be bad at narrow peaks. Not gonna get a lot of chances. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going pretty slowly. Slower than I expected. All right, gotta catch up. Okay. Now, Helix, I know you're the best that I've that there ever, the best there ever ever was at uh, Dark Banana Twin Basin, but that stage is really hard, so feel the pressure. Okay. Well. Uh, first I need to breathe. Okay, you're allowed to breathe. Oh, I died. Wow, I got like a weird clip I wasn't expecting. Touch the banana? That's a big no-no. All that weird You don't clip. do that. Not in this game. Not in this game mode. No, not there in Dark Banana. You actually want to be very careful like I am here on Centrif. Alright, so... <laughs> there we go. Twin Basin is... There's like one way to beat this. Um, you have to perfectly conserve your momentum and sort of weave around these bananas. Um, especially in the second base, and this one's the more difficult one. Mm. Then you have to perfectly manage your speed. First try. You always do this. <laughs> First try, twin base and dark banana on you stage always in the GDQ. Do this. I am so happy I just did that. <laughs> Beautiful. That I looked like I was gonna touch a banana too. That was so <laughs> that close. That sounded tense. All right, well, I'll try my best. I've gotten better at this run. When we first submitted this run, fun fact, we told the hosts, uh, one of us finishes, that's all we need. But we both got good enough to finish the run now, yeah. so I will be finishing as well, no matter what Helix does after this yeah. point. Got some cycle skips on Swing Bar Long, and I am on the final stage, Sega logo. Time will be... So close. When Very I... close attempt. Time is when I break the gold tape, of course. Mm -hmm. I am actually so happy that I got to <laughs> Darker Twin Basin first try. Well, I got it. Second try. <laughs> that's still that's, really that's, good. It, time. That is that is ten times better than my average. That's we love time. to see it. GG time. <laughs> it's not even that many stages different. It's just like wow, you know, I, I couldn't hard. go into it knowing that I had to get Dark Twin Base at first try. Yeah, stuff, but they're hard. Hopefully, <laughs> we show up at the same time. <laughs> Incredible work. Oh, and GG. swing bar long. They don't call it swing bar long for nothing. <laughs> Wait, swing bar not short. Bar. No, ah. not once. It actually drank all its milk. Swing bar elongated. Day one. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I do do a really uh, fast Sega logo route. Hopefully I get a first try and make it look really cool. This is the thing that I did. Uh, one of the things I did to make the uh, world record a bit faster recently. Here I go. All right. Sega logo time. What? Sega? Well, I thought we were friends! Oh, with, no. the, with the early game copies and the... <laughs> what? Alright, I can't do my faster route. It relies on a little bit more speed than that. But we'll be strolling in. Either way. Don't touch the bananas. Watch out, Kiryu Kazuma! Let's go, Kiryu Chan. Alright, and that's time for me as well. GG. <laughs> yeah. Right, as I pass through the tape there, GG. I'm gonna play a replay. Another so excellent outro. race. Shorter category, terrifying stuff. <laughs> well done again. All right, lots of shout outs, so we'll try to keep this short. Um, first of all, Peter, where can these wonderful people find you? Uh, these wonderful people can find me at twitch.tv slash Inc. Just the uh, no spaces, you know, all caps, mm -hmm. if you want to yell it. You don't have to do the caps lock. That is also his Twitter. <laughs> what about you, Elix? Um, you can mm -hmm. Also my Twitter, mm -hmm. yes. You can find me on a Twitch. Twitter and YouTube, they are all Helix13 underscore. And as I say every time, don't forget the underscore because Helix13 is someone else. <laughs> um, yeah. We love underscores here. We'd really, appreciate, we'd really appreciate following both of us. We both stream Monkey Ball speedruns all the time. Um, shout out to Midwest mm -hmm. Speedfest, gotta shout them out. If you want to learn this game, I heavily recommend joining the Banana Mania speedrunning Discord server. You can go to speedrun.com slash smbbm and there will be a link there. There'll be some other resources there. Um, yeah, great place to learn. I'm in it, Peter's in it. We would love to help you out. And there, there's so much yes, content in this game. You got story mode. So many helpful people, too. Yeah. yeah. You got story mode. You got SMB1 challenge mode. All the difficulties. You got SMB2 challenge mode. You got the special modes. There are variants for jumps. There's jumps in this game. You can unlock them. Uh, you this can game jump. has just an absurd amount of content. <laughs> um, 
shout out to Hero for making this wonderful art behind me again that is already uploaded to my Twitter. I think I hope I got everything. Thank you, GDQ, so much for having me. You got a lot. Um, well done. That was a good, good, good splurge. Peter, <laughs> it was an honor to uh, have this race with you. Not only another skilled player, but also a good friend. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very happy that, that they took the race, and it's also an honor to be a bonus game. Yeah, no, nah, we kept submitting, and I was really hoping one day we'd get to have a chance to do it mm -hmm. because it just feel like we uh, we race pretty hard, we game hard, and we pal hard. Thank you so much to the both of you for everything. It was an honor and a pleasure. GG's, Peter. Big GG's. GG's. One more big round of applause, if you would, for Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania with Petrus and Helix. It, I would consider it a personal favor if you would consider going to twitch.tv slash Petrus Inc. and Helix13 underscore and following the both of them. They did amazing. And there is the, I have a bumper crop of Banana Mania donations left over. So I'm going to run through a few of those just as quick as I can before we get ready for more runs. Lordly Hour with $10 who says, Monkeys rolling fast. Consoles and dragons count, right? Dark banana time. Thank you, Lordly Hour. Gecko Tony with $100. I may have got back to the stream too late to see Rasputin rolling around on a psychic ball, but watching Kiryu and a Sega Genesis racing around inside balls is even better. This has been a super fun race to watch. Thanks, you two. Ranty with $5. Shout out to the marble with the screaming Dreamcast inside. That is an excellent callback. Please and thank you, Ranty. Nello Angelo with $100. Oh, dark banana. Mm, so forbidden, so delicious. Thank you, Nello. Milky ODS donates $25 to PCF. It says, been in awe watching both Peter and Helix master this game over the past few months. Love watching their streams. Simultaneous, so chilled, yet so hype. So true. I think we're going to take a quick hydration break. Don't forget to get some potassium if you need it. And we'll be back real soon. <laughs>